Former members of the Kaduna State Executive Council, who served under the immediate past government of ex-governor Nasir Erufai 2015 to 2023, have refuted a report by the State Assembly indicting their principal. Addressing the media in Abuja regarding a recent report by the Kaduna State House of Assembly's ad hoc committee, the report, which has been circulating on social media, accuses the Council of significant financial misconduct. Jafaru Ibrahim, the former Commissioner of Environment, described the report as biased and inaccurate, misrepresenting facts aiming to damage reputations. Mwanda Nasir Erufai was not invited by the ad hoc committee which made certain claims against him. As you are aware, he has approached the Federal High Court for the enforcement of his fundamental human rights as a citizen who is entitled to be given a fair hearing before his rights can be determined by a quasi-judicial or investigative body or courts in line with the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. As senior officials in the Erufai administration, which served the people of Kaduna State between May 2015 and May 2023, we restate our pride in the dedication and integrity of our service. We have previously described the report circulating in, on social media as an unprofessional document tainted by bias, exhibiting no serious interest in establishing facts. Jafari Ibrahim countered the financial allegations citing improvements in infrastructure, tax collection and investments during their tenure. The report indulges in the futility of flocking outlandish figures out of thin air in the hope of solidifying impressions of a scandalous and corrupt conduct. The, the figures seems only to have had the effect of mesmerizing the legislators who cite one amount here and then something different on exactly the same figure. To assist further understanding, to assist further understanding, we are attaching at the end of this document a detailed tabulation of comments and observations on the report of the ad hoc committee. We now take up issues from the recommendations in the report. The former council members reaffirmed their commitment to transparency and called for a fair examination of the allegations.